I've been having to make the hardest choice in my whole entire life. Either stop playing sports or stop creating videos. I was just having innocent fun. And I know it might not sound like, you know, that big of a comparison, but you know, it's internally, it just goes my heart. My name is Donald Delahaye, also known as Destroying. I'm an athlete and content creator. I was born in Limon, Costa Rica, December 2nd, 1996. My family didn't have a car for a while, and then my dad finally got one. It was fun, I mean, I grew up very close to my brother. My brother kind of took me under his wing. My dad, he put me into sports. My mom, she worked at a pharmacy at the time. June 4th, 2004, we made the big move to America. My best friend moved to my city at the time, Port St. Lucie. And he played football, he played flag and stuff growing up. And going to freshman year, he was like, hey bro, like, come out, try out for receiver, like, try something out. And I was like, nah. So now he was at football practice. Eventually I just went out, tried out for receiver. And at the end of practice, the coach was like, hey man, anybody know how to kick a ball? Are you looking for a kicker? So they put a ball on a tee, made me kick it, and then the rest is history. Very unofficial, before I had to start. Hey man, today we're not doing nothing too special. Just working, getting better, man. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the arena football. I do this trick where I spin the ball and it stands up and I kick it. So someone was like, oh, I'm gonna record you, I'm gonna record you. So I did it and kicked the field goal. Posted it to Good. Twitter, I believe, and that just went viral. Like Sports Center posted it, like all these media outlets posted it. Then is when I kind of knew, like, oh, I have something. So I started recording all my stuff. It's crucial. I just do trick kicks, I just kick the ball, uh, started filming them. I feel like it was kind of, uh, kind of average. That's why we work, baby, that's why we get better. My boy Troy, we do like wide receivers be like, kickers be like, quarterbacks be like, just little skits. And they start getting like millions of views. Bro, is he going to jump for it? Is he going to jump for it? Are you throwing the guy? So then my channel started getting traction. Della Hayes? Della Hayes vlog. Della Hayes vlog, man. And simultaneously as it starts getting traction, then the NCAA starts reaching out like, hey, are you making money off this? Are you getting paid? So that's kind of how things started. 2017, I figured out I could finally monetize my shit. I was making pennies, dollars at the time, not crazy. But then when the video started going viral, when the NCAA was like, hey, um, we gotta talk about your channel. They were like, all right, so you have to either delete your YouTube channel, donate all the money back, and keep playing football, or you can continue doing what you're doing, but you're not gonna be eligible anymore. And literally as I walked out the office, before I could even get to my car, my phone lights up with tweets, oh, Donald Delahaye deemed ineligible by NCAA. Basically, I'm ruled ineligible because I refuse to demonetize my videos, something that I've worked so hard for. Interviews, I'm getting phone calls, I'm getting emails. And they figured out, you know, the terms of this waiver. And they figured out what I can and what I can't do. My parents were like, no matter what happens at today, tomorrow, like, we love you, make whatever decision you think is best for you. I even talked to my brother-in-law, He's like, I feel like you feel like this shit's gonna like blow up and do all this, but it's not, you're gonna flop. My advisor, I talked to her too, and I'm like, I don't know what I should do. She's like, just know, we're here to help you with school and we're here to help you with all this. You're a grown fucking man as soon as you make that decision. And that just, I don't know, that just brought me to tears. But I'll never forget August 4th, 2017. I picked my YouTube channel over my scholarship, went back to my dorm room, instantly create a video, posted it to YouTube. I went from being spoon-fed and having everything done for me to just being out on my own. Literally had two days to pack up all my stuff in my dorm and figure out where the fuck I was gonna go. I called Troy, he was like, bro, trust me, bro. Just stay down until we come up. Keep working, bro, you're gonna be all right. And we just kept running it up. I want these drawings, that's what I want. I want you. The next month, I made seven grand in a month. And he built like Mr. Mr. Incredible up top and Ray Lewis down low. Then every month just incrementally up, up, up. We're gonna take yeah. the lead. <laughs> Word on the street is you're kind of quick. I got a little bit of wheels. So I was like, all right, check this out. I made the decision, boom.
Even though it may not be posted every day, I create content every day. People come up to me, tell me how I've changed their life. If they weren't there, I mean, I don't know, man. You don't know what phase it is when you're in the content creating space, then you've been living under a rock. I remember watching Phase Clan growing up. These motherfuckers would make me stay up 18 hours a day trying to hit trick shots and trying to record my game plan and everything. So like just seeing that to where it's come to now, knowing that I can have an impact and I can help grow and shape and mold this and create something new in Phase Sports. Now we're trying to shift the culture. Now we're trying to have impact everywhere. We just signed Snoop. We got guys like Kyler Murray, Ronnie James. Now I'm signing myself. Destroying, I know he's an athlete. There's a lot of kids that were in my position growing up. So I, I want to impact them. I want to help them. Sir, we're just going to take over the world one vertical at a time. Daisy's throwing. Lo hicimos. My name is Sharon Murdoch de la Hay, and I'm Dee's mom. I'm Donald de la Hay, his dad. My name is Janik de la Hay, and um, I'm Dee's older brother. Troy Stevens, I'm like his best friend, childhood best friend. Today we're at the FaZe Clan. Surprise indeed for a big signing that he's doing with FaZe. He doesn't know we're here. He does not have no idea that we are here. D, wet signing, not dry, take one. All right, we're going to go in there to capture you from inside, OK? So just chill. chill. Yeah, just chill here. Relax. Relax. You good? You good. Walking in our new home, baby. It's the day. Man, I think it was the greatest decision I could have ever I'm sorry, made. No shade on y'all, but <laughs> greatest decision I made in my life. Phase up, brother. Probably tattooed on my heart, man. Creating content.